gets the fish He knows the facts He always makes fishing fun For you and everyone Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV It's time for Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV here. We got a special episode today. Um, this is going to be a product review, which is something that I haven't done in a while. Um, but I have a pr- new or newer product that I, I feel like that I'm I have been using long enough as to where I can develop um, a pretty good representation of this product. This product is the Bass Pro Shops brand Snaggin Special Six Foot Rod. This is the rod that I have on my Pen 113H reels that I use for deep dropping and trolling. So I purchased these rods, I believe it was back in August, um, when I got my offshore permissions with the boat club, uh, with the idea of this would be my primary rod for deep dropping and potentially trolling. So um, as I've done in some of my older... Um, product reviews. I just want to say I'm just going to show you video of me catching tilefish. Um, I have a lot of tilefish video because we've caught a lot of tilefish and it takes a while to reel in a tilefish. So I'll probably put this to like three tilefish reeling in. So if it's, ju- it's just me rambling, you're not missing anything uh, overly important and you're going to see a couple little tilefish. But the, the point is uh, we're talking about this rod, the snagging special. And I have to say I have been very, very impressed by these rods. Um, As some of you may have noticed, I go through a lot of rods. I break them easily. Um, The previous rod that I had on one of these 113Hs, uh, the tip broke off about two years ago. And so I hadn't really – but I hadn't really been fishing offshore very much, so it didn't matter. Um, And the other one was given to me by my dad um, before – we had some heavy rods that were still hollow. So that's the first thing I want to talk about these rods is the um, the fact that they're solid glass rods. These are not hollow fiberglass. These are one solid chunk of fiberglass. So they are very heavy. They're not lightweight. So if you're looking for a lightweight rod, this is not the rod for you. If you're looking for a very heavy rod to catch various very big fish um then then this might be the rod for you you know i've caught everything if you go back to that 20 some odd pound black grouper um we we've caught mahi on these rods we've caught a lot of mutton snappers tile fish um, especially when you're using heavy weights um oftentimes when i'm dropping for these tile fish i'm using as much as two pounds of weight so when you're using those heavy weights these stiff thick rods um make it a lot easier to bring up those heavy weights. When I've tried using my uh, ugly stick to pull up these heavy weights, it's it's a hassle because the rods, you know, bent all the way over. These rods hardly bend, but they they do have enough sensitivity as to where you can feel, like I said, muttons um, or even some of these, as you'll see, these tile fish I've caught in these videos are not very big tile fish. So I'm still able to feel these bumps. So even though these rods aren't the most sensitive, um, they still have enough sensitive sensitivity. Um, and the ultimate reason, you know, not to linger on just rave too long for these rods is the price. They're $25. So if you're getting a 113H new, um, you probably can go ahead and get the combo and the rod will be similarly priced. But if anything happens to the rod um, or you just want to get a cheap deep sea combo, I mean, you're not going to – like I, you can't even hardly get a bass rod for $25. And this is a, a deep sea rod that – you can catch, I mean, I feel confident I could catch a 50-pound tuna on this on this rod if I hooked into it. So um, not precision. It doesn't have roller guides. So, I mean, in the same category, you can literally spend $1,000 on a rod easily. But for the price, I just cannot fathom 
a better rod could be made. And honestly, you know, if you don't mind the weight, um, you know, for some people, the weight might be an issue. And I think that's clearly um, the weight being the number one con and the two being the lack of sensitivity. But as I said before, the lack of sensitivity is really not that bad. It's the weight um, would be the primary factor that I think you could have issues with. Um, but if you can get over that, this is a great rod for the price. And if you're doing something like me with the boat club and you just want a couple really big rods to pull up stuff from really deep or really big fish, this rod, this rod could be great for you. Um, and I would recommend it to anyone that is trying to fish offshore um, and maintain any sort of budget. So again, if you have any questions, just drop them right in the comments. This is the Bass Pro Shops brand snagging special rod. As you can see here, um, i throw a still picture up of it um, and then just show you all of the uh, the video of me reeling fishing on it because it's reeled in a lot of fish over the past four or five months. So enjoy.